Print email Facebook Twitter More Cronulla Sharks v Tigers, Melbourne Storm v Brisbane Broncos, NRL Round 14 Scores and Stats The Melbourne Storm have come good late on to dispatch the Brisbane Broncos, following the Sharks' win over West's Tigers. Look back at how the action unfolded in our NRL score center. Bellamy's storm win out over Broncos Craig Bellamy has showed why he's the most sought-after coach in the NRL, with Melbourne outplaying Wayne Bennett's Brisbane 32-16 in their clash at Army Park. The Broncos hoped to lure Bellamy north and while Sunday's game was far from Melbourne's best performance of the season, they turned in a huge second half scoring 24 points, for the Storm coach to extend his head-to-head -head coaching record to 24-10 over Bennett. External link, Storm v Broncos summary Both teams had three players backing up from state of origin, with Brisbane centre James Roberts sitting out with Achilles soreness and his Storm opposite Will Chambers suspended, of the Melbourne players. Cameron Munster took a while to build into the game but scored a crucial 57th minute try when he ghosted past Broncos skipper Darius Boyd to open a 20-12 lead, in a scrappy first half. Boyd, who was overlooked for origin, was one of his team's best. Storm skipper Cameron Smith, who also missed origin after quitting representative football, was also a standout. With both teams coming off the bye, Boyd looked like he'd put the extended break to good use as he glided through the Storm defense to open the try scoring. After the try, Boyd pointed to strapping on his wrist, which bore the letters KW. While it was believed to be in reference to his wife Kayla and daughter Willow, it could also have been a message for Maroons coach Kevin Walters. External link, Storm v Broncos chalkboard 4 minutes later, a dropped bomb by Sulia Siv Univalu saw a Broncos scrum 15 meters out and they send the ball wide, catching the Storm well short for winger J. Main Isaac go to dive over the line and the visitors to take a 12-2 lead. Melbourne centre young Tony Mapey, in his last home game before going on a two-year Mormon mission, closed the gap to 12-8 before half-time when he dragged five Broncos over the line, backing up from origin. Feel eyes cough as he split the defense to score, with his converted try giving the home side the lead with Munster's effort opening it up to 8 points. External link, Storm v Broncos stats Brisbane hit back in the 63rd minute, with Jordan Kahu again finding space out wide, but their fight back stalled when Vunavalu ended his four-game try scoring drought off a Munster bomb. Jerome Hughes, replacing injured fullback Billy Slater, then finished off the match, with Munster again in the thick of the action. Up Sharks account for the West's Tigers Cronulla has consolidated its spot in the NRL Top 8 on the back of a vintage second-half performance from Paul Gallen in a 24-16 win over the West's Tigers. The hosts appeared out of energy and ideas when they trailed a typically stubborn Tigers outfit by eight with half an hour to go at Shark Park on Sunday. But a nondescript solo try to the oldest player in the competition flipped the contest on its head. External link, Sharks v Tigers summary The Cronulla skipper backed his way over on a routine run up the middle then set up a 90 meters try for Valentine Holmes four minutes later when he fielded a Luke Brooks kick. It was Holmes's 12th try in 13 games this season. The 13,093 strong crowd then found full voice as the Sharks made it three tries in 10 minutes as 5'8 Matt Moylan threw a looping cutout for Edric Lee, and just like that. The Sharks, who also lost Luke Lewis and Joseph Paolo to concussion, turned an 8-point deficit into an 8-point lead. A Tuimo Alololo here try set up by a Chris Lawrence line break against the run of play ensured a tense final 10 minutes, but Sharks rookie Jetty Ramian sealed the win in the 75th minute. External link, Sharks v Tigers chalkboard The exciting talent took full advantage of an Andrew Fickett to upload before bursting through a tiring Tigers middle to give Cronulla its seventh win in eight matches. The defeat for the Tigers, who lost Benji Marshall to a calf injury before the match, leaves them two points adrift of the top eight in ninth spot. It was a penalty shootout early, with Asan Masters and Chad Townsend potting three between them before Tigers hooker Elijah Taylor dummied his way over from close range. External link, Sharks v Tigers stats The Sharks had twice the number of looks at the try line than the Tigers and had a one-man advantage when Michael Cheekham was binned for repeated infringements in the 33rd minute. But the Tigers, who lost Chris Lawrence to a suspected leg injury late in the second half, 
showed enough resolve to take an 8-point lead at the break. Art print email Facebook.